So here we have a sort of makeshift homemade ribbon controller. Uh, sort of, it acts as a variable resistor that lets you control the voltage of whatever you want to control with it. I've got it hooked up to this here. This is the Synthrotech optical theremin. As you can see, I've removed one of the components. I've removed the light dependent resistor, which is the actual theremin portion of it, and I've replaced it with two crocodile clips. This first one is going to the very edge of our ribbon, and the other one is going to be like our stylus for it. This is made from uh, graphite, just from a 2B pencil, just on a piece of paper. I added some markings to sort of help with the notes. This is the third version I've made, and the first two are here. This one was just built or just drawn on an envelope, and it's a lot taller. This one is on cardboard, and it's also pretty tall. This one is on just a regular piece of paper and it's shorter, but it's longer than the other two as well. And yeah, it's just regular graphite from a 2B pencil that you just draw a big box and you fill it in as best you can. You want to get as much graphite and lead in there as you can. Because then when you do this... This sort of, this dot here sort of corresponds to the E note. And then we go up B flat here. Sort of our C note. And it goes down sort of to a, uh, sort of to a G, it's a bit sharp though. And then we go all the way up. And it almost goes up to a, it goes all the way up to a high G, so it's roughly around two octaves. Yeah, there's no there's no ground or earth connection, uh, so I guess it's a little bit dangerous. You just have to make sure not not to touch that bit. If you do add ground and you just take ground or earth connection from somewhere on the PCB and attach it to the other side it still works but you don't really get what you you still get some pitch but it sort of dies off once you get around the halfway point whereas without ground you get notes all the way and it's about two octaves you can change the pitch with this knob here from the theremin this knob controls the volume in association with this light dependent resistor as well so I've got my light on but yeah, if I were to turn this down, the range of notes, it would get lower, but also uh, it would, it'd like the range of two octaves would shift as well. And if I added it higher, the notes would get higher and also it would be slightly more than two octaves, etc. But yeah, it's really good. Um, you can sort of play melodies on it. A Beach Boys melody there. It's quite good. Uh, I've got it. You could plug it into a speaker or into headphones because it's going off a 9 volt battery. I've got it going into my bass amplifier, which uh, I've got some EQ going. I've got full bass, no treble, sort of in the a little bit of mids. I'll take the mids out. Yeah. Uh, almost a sine wavy kind of sound. If I add all the treble and mids back in, sort of a, a square wave kind of sound. That's the natural sound of this. If you just plugged headphones in, that's the basic kind of sound you'd hear. I might prefer to take the treble out and most of the mids, so I get more of like a sine wave or triangle wave kind of sound, trying to get like a theremin tone from it. But yeah, pretty simple. Uh, other than that, it's the normal Synthrotech optical theremin, which I've added a little bit of a modification to the output. The output would normally be here, but I've added a tone knob 
a filter, you know, the low-pass filter, just in case I ever end up playing this on stage and I don't have the luxury of controlling the EQ myself because the front of house person would do that, so I would turn this down to, to roll off the, the treble end the same way that I'm doing here. But yeah, very simple to build. Very playable, very musical. Um, you know, by mucking around with the pitch settings, I could make it a bit more of a sound effects kind of instrument. But yeah, the way it is now, it's very, it's very good. I'm very happy with it. Uh, you can, if you've got an instrument like this or any sort of instrument that has, that's sort of modular and and has like a pitch modulation output where you would plug a, an audio jack. You could, you could do this instead of crocodile clips. You just use audio jack. <laughs> to touch it there and you'll be able to get the same thing so yeah it's pretty it's pretty incredible that it's just a piece of paper and graphite from a lead pencil and then you can get this incredible slide sort of theremin thing so yeah it's good Thanks for watching.